All right, so I want to show you guys how to effectively cast your phone set screen onto your laptop. And as you can see, the one that is on the screen right now, I've actually done that. So I want to show you how you can actually do this. Okay, it's really very simple. You just need to download a particular application and you can actually use that app to do the connection. Okay, so I can actually do whatever that I want to draw my phone right now. And definitely, I'm going to actually be seeing that from that of the the screen of my phone okay it's really very simple guys you want to open your messages you can do that and if you want to read them you can read your messages right there from your computer but you're actually basically using your phone to do this okay so this is basically how you want to scroll through you can actually do that anything you are doing on your phone is actually gonna be kind of a be reflecting on the screen of your computer okay and the, the app word that we're actually going to be using it is just it's really very simple and it basically works just like that of the Zender. And it's not only for mirroring or a kind of a casting your phone cell screen on the laptop, but you can also do some other things like transfer. You can pick call, you can take a look at your call logs right here. You can do quite a lot of things. You can see your apps or whatever you want to do. Okay. So this is the mirroring interface of it. Okay. It's really very simple. You can do quite a lot of things. If you want to transfer files, from your phone to the laptop or from your laptop to your phone you can also use the same app okay so it does the mirroring or the casting of your screen of your phone onto that of the laptop and then it also does a lot of other things okay and but all i basically want to show you in this video is just to show you how you can actually cast your screen onto that of the laptop okay how you can basically cast your the screen of your phone onto the laptop and it doesn't matter the kind of phone you're using if you're using android or ios you can actually follow and you can actually uh, follow just fine and then get your screen, uh, your screen like a kind of a caster just fine okay all right so let's just get in right now and then do that okay so to download this a droid all you need to do is to go to your play store or your app store depending on the one that you're actually using so i have a play store already on my phone so i'm going to click on play store right now to open it up and once we get into this particular place sorry that i'm already on that particular interface but this is basically where it should take you to if you have not actually installed it before or searched for it before okay so once you take you to this interface you need to type um search for that particular app on on this search bar right here okay so i'm going to touch that place and then i'm going to just type a droid like that okay and you need to just search for this so i'm going to click on search and it's going to search and then bring it up okay so we're going to see the suggestions that we have in here the real one is actually this particular one that is on this particular line and i have it already installed on this particular phone and that is why you are seeing something like open right here okay so if for you that have not actually installed this before now what you are going to actually find around this place is install okay so once you find this icon right here this particular software you just need to click on install okay instead of um, open that we're having right here okay so that's just basically what you need to do once you click on that install it's going to go ahead and install the application for you and it's going to actually scan it and then open it up okay so what i'm going to do right now is i want to minimize this page right now if you have it installed you can actually look for it within your your phone the location of the apps on your phone if you take a look in here you see that my own is actually here it's already installed on this particular place so i can go ahead and then open it up right now okay so i'm going to click on it and the app is actually going to launch all right so as you can see that the app is actually open right now and i like to also let you know right now that you have to you may need an account with them they're going to prompt you to register with them and all they need is just for you to enter your email address your first name last name and the nickname that you basically want to use okay in my own case i've actually done that and it's a very simple thing i don't need to show you that so you just create an account with them they are going to prompt you to create an account with them and then you sign in okay so i'm already signed in to my own account right now that's why you're seeing this environment that you're seeing right now and now for me to really transfer this screen right now to my computer i need to make sure that the network that i'm using on this particular phone is the same network that i'm actually using on my computer what i mean by that is that you have to be connected to the same wi-fi okay so i'm connected to the same wi-fi and all i need to do right now is on my phone right here i am just going to go ahead and tap on this icon down here that says transfer okay that's basically what i'm going to click on so i'm going to click on that right now that says transfer so once you click on that you make sure that that is actually selected the next thing that you need to do is to click on this line that says something like a droid web 
okay you see a droid web right here you're gonna click on that and it's actually gonna open to this particular page and all you need to do is to make use of any of the options that we have in here the, the option one says that you should actually visit this particular url that you can actually see here right now which is http uh, colon double four slash web dot a droid dot com and you're gonna need to actually sign in from your system to be able to do that or uh, the second option right here is for you to go through this ip address that we have in here so if you take a look in here you see that we have an ip address that we can actually type into our computer and we can actually use it to to cast our screen uh, our phone says screen on the laptop okay and yours yours basically will be different than mine you, your own will actually be different you are not going to have to see the same thing that i have in here okay so what i'm going to do right now is that i want to switch to my computer and then i'm going to use the process to also record my computer and then show you how this is actually done so we're basically going to make sure that we're connected to the same network and then we can type this this particular ip address right here and then from there we can conclude the connection so let's do that right now with our computer so let's move over to the computer right now all right guys so i am switched over to the computer right now and let's go ahead and then type that address that i just showed you which is actually http I'm going to have double colon and I'm going to just say um, this is going to be double four slash and I'm going to just say 192 dot and basically I've actually uh, tried this before now and if you take a look at that which I have on the URL it actually corresponds to the one that is actually on my phone right now so what I need to do or what you need to do right now is to make sure you type your own correctly this is actually my own okay so I can actually go ahead and then um, uh, press enter to get into this interface right now without having to continue typing it the way that it is okay so my own is actually correct so let's click on that right now and then this is actually going to come up okay so on this this which you are this icon you are seeing right now it's actually telling me that on my phone that i need to press something like accept which if i show you the screen to my phone right now you are going to see it so i need to click on or tap on accept and this is this at actually times out if you don't do it early enough so i have about eight seconds to do this so i'm going to tap on uh, accept right now you can also reject it if you want and if you do that uh, immediately you're going to actually see the effect on your computer okay it's going to actually reflect on your computer meaning that you have that already um a kind of uh, accepted from your computer that's just um the thing right here so if you check your phone you see where it says something like connected to the android web and if you check your computer you see that it's a kind of a showing you that you are really connected to that application okay and what you need to do is really very simple you just basically need to uh, click on this icon that says mirroring okay so if you check your computer right now you're going to see an icon that says mirroring so i'm going to click on that right now and i'm going to see what is actually going to happen so if you click on that this is actually going to also pop up and what this means is that if you check your phone you're going to see a pop-up that says start recording or casting with a droid and you basically need to click on start now so that the screen can actually be casted and this is also going to time you out so you need to make sure that you do that before it times out so i'm going to on my phone right now i'm going to click on start now and that has been connected based on what i'm seeing right now okay so this is my screen for instance if i minimize this right now you're going to see that it begins to sh like show up from my computer right there okay so let me see if i if as, as you can actually see right now see that it's actually seeing my computer so if i want to let's say i want to go to my messages for that if i touch it you see that it's a kind of a shoes on the computer and it's also showing on my phone right now so I'm actually whatever i'm doing right now i'm doing it on my phone and it's actually opening okay so if i want to open up my camera i can also do that okay so that is that guys that is that this is just basically how you can actually connect or cast your screen or the screen of your phone onto that of your laptop okay so we can do right about anything right now and it will actually be shown on that particular um, screen which is on your phone okay so i can take a look at my picture from my phone and it should be showing on the computer just like that all right guys so and i hope that you guys kind of understand this and it's really not hard at all and if you like it and give us a like i'll see you in the next one
can see that it's actually seeing my computer so if i want to let's say i want to go to my messages for that if i touch it you see that it's a kind of a shoes on the computer and it's also showing on my phone right now so i'm actually whatever i'm doing right now i'm doing it on my phone and it's actually opening okay so if i want to open up my camera you can also do that okay so that is that guys that is that this is just basically how you can actually connect or cast your screen or the screen of your phone onto that of your laptop